Hello there guys, it's Maxo Diddley here and today I am here with another job tutorial to help you get that A in your practical exam. Today we're here with writing to a CSV comma separated value file. So in the exam you're more than likely going to have to write some form of data to a file and more than likely each field for each record in the file will be separated by commas so we know where one field starts and one field ends and more than likely you'll have one record per line. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So first we're just gonna have a little look at um, a file I already have. Oops, why, why did I just close that beans? Oops, okay, so. We have a, a, a notepad, we have a TXT file called cake.txt, and we have two records. We have a, a member ID, a name, and an age. So this, this is Tom's um, record, so his ID is 6667. His name is Tom, and he's 56 years old. And we have Bill, he's 17, and has an ID of 2323. And basically what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to add more records to this file, and each record will have its own line, and we separate each field of each record using a comma. If you don't understand database terminology, I advise you go and look at some website to explain it, because that's not the purpose of this video. So anyway, let's get right into how we actually do that. So, firstly, we're going to want to create a few variables in our main method. So I'm going to do string id, and we're going to set it to 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to have string name, and we're going to set that to Bob. And we're going to have string age, and we're going to set this to 22. And then we're going to have string file path, and that's going to equal cake.txt, if I can actually type a dot. So, what are these variables for? Well, these are just going to be member details, basically the fields that make up a record for a user. And this is our um, variable to store the file path. Make sure this is whatever it needs to be for the exam, as you need to probably write to a specific file. And you can have as many um, member details fields as, as you like. I'm just going to use three for the purpose of this tutorial. Now we're going to create a method and it's going to be public static void save record and we're going to take in string id string name string age and string file path then we're going to have our curly brackets there so what does this method do well it's a it's a void method therefore meaning it is um, a procedure Therefore, we don't return a value because we don't need to. We've called it save record. And we're going to take in string. We're going to have um, four variables. We're going to have a string ID, a string name, a string for the age, and a string for the file path. String ID takes the value of ID. String name takes the value of name. String age takes the value of age. And string file path takes the value of file path. And these variables will be local to this method. So in this case, we'll take in the value of 1, 2, 3, 4, Bob, 22, and cake.txt. Now we're going to do a try catch. And you should know what a try catch is if you watch my tutorials. If you don't, then condemn you to hell. I'm joking. That, that was me. Just You can go and watch them. There will be an I in the corner where we have other tutorials where we've used try and catch before if you don't understand it. So we're just going to quickly write it in. And then we'll put the code in. There you go. So, now we're going to do... Oh, wait, 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 before we do it. Basically, try catch. We'll try this bit of code. If it succeeds, move on to whatever's after the try catch. If it fails, do what's ever in here. That's the try catch very simply summed up. So now we're going to have the, the file writey code that you might be new to. So we're going to do file writer. And we're going to call it FW because file writer FW short for file writer. And I just rather do that instead of giving it some weird name. And I think the examiners don't mind this. I, I, I think. I don't know. Equals new file writer. Then we'll do file path because that's where we would put the file path of the file we want to write to. And you want to put true. We want to right click file writer and click fix imports. And that will import the file writer library. So, what does this line of code do? So basically, FileWriter is um, it's an object we're making, 
and we're using this object to indicate to Java whether we're going to append data to the file or overwrite the file. Overwriting the file basically is erasing everything in there and replacing it with the data we're writing. This could be good for a video game save file where you only have so many values and as the player progresses through the game you want those values to change, like I don't know, the coordinates of the player or if they've done a certain quest or not, or things they've unlocked, or their inventory, that kind of thing. And if it is, so that's if it's true, no, 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 that's if it's false. If it's true, then we're going to say, right, we want to append data. That basically means putting data at the bottom of the file after all the other data that's already there. For instance, say if we have a shopping list, a digital shopping list. It's every time we add something to the shopping list, we wouldn't want the whole shopping list to be erased, would we? We would just want the item to be put at the end of the shopping list. That's kind of what, this is basically what it's doing. And we're just telling Java, right, we want to append data, not overwrite the whole file. Now we're going to do buffered writer bw equals new buffered writer fw. And we need to right click on buffered writer and click fix imports. Oh, I missed, I missed up buffered. Never mind. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I, I, I mistyped buffered, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. There was something wrong. I forgot. I misspelled buffered. I forgot to put the E there. Sorry. So, what's what's buffered writer? Well, buffered writer is an extension of file writer. And just make sure that your characters, your strings and arrays are more efficiently written to the file. And you do not need to understand this. That is, like, probably not even a very good definition of it. It's apparently good practice in later life, but you do not need it for the exam, so you can exclude it if you really wanted to, but I don't know, that's how I do it. Now we're gonna do print writer pw equals new print writer bw. Well, I'll right click on print writer and click fix imports. So what does this line of code do? So print writer basically gives us access to syntax that you probably are used to, such as system.out. And you will see this when, um, when, when we actually write to the file. And I'll show you what I mean. So now we've got that out of the way. We're going to actually append the data to the file. So we want to do pw because we want to use our, our object, pw, which will give us access to print writer methods dot print ln can you see how this is going and literally in here you would do what you would do if you were just to print these to the screen well you want to do id plus comma plus uh, name plus comma plus age semicolon can you see the similarities Instead of system.out.print line, we're doing pw.print line. So we're basically doing what we would do to the console. So you should understand what this is actually doing based on that. But basically, in the next line in the file, we're basically print, we're putting the value of whatever our ID is, then we're putting a comma, then we're putting the, whatever the value of name is, then we're putting a comma, then we're going to put the age. Now we're going to do pw.flush. This makes sure. This makes sure no, that's not even a dot, is it? Oh my god, I'm so tired, guys. I'm so sorry. This basically makes sure that all data is written to the file. You don't need to understand it. That's a very simple definition. There's a lot more about it, but that's simple summed up for you. Then we want to do pw dot close. If you don't know what this does, um, I don't know. This basically just closes the file stream, so we're no longer ha we no longer have the file open basically in the program. And now um, we need to just print a message to the user. So j option pane dot show message dialog dialog, and I can't actually type. And we're gonna do null and record saved. So we basically told the user that we're saving your record, and we need to fix imports on that. Copy and paste this paste it into the try catch thing and say record not saved or anything you like for an error message. Now we just got one more line of code and we're going to call our method. So we're going to do save record ID name age 
file path. By the way, you can have as many fields as you want, and obviously you want to make sure you put these things in the right order for when you want to actually write them to the file, but it, you should do that automatically anyway. So that's all for the code. Now we're going to test it. So we're just going to, uh, wait, make sure we have this close, actually. I want to save there. So we're going to run it. And it says record saved. So we're going to quickly check it out. Um, there's where cake TXT is. And Bob is there. Um, why has um, it printed it there? Well, because I might have spammed enter a few times. And so Java thinks that that file already has stuff. So what we'll do is we'll just put it back up here and save. And if you run the code again, record saved, it should just be underneath it. Yeah, so there's nothing wrong, guys. This does fully work. I just accidentally spammed enter a few times in the file before the video. And therefore, Java thought those lines already had stuff on it. But don't worry, the code works. You saw it, it appended straight underneath. Same record, but who cares? I'm just going to save that. I don't know. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy. We are going to be going over a very complex thing next time to do with reading the file and searching the file. This is kind of the basis of it, and we're going to be using things from here and there as well, potentially. But anyway, be sure to stay tuned for that, hopefully tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I don't know. But thanks for being a great audience, and we'll see you next time. And if you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I might have explained this poorly, I don't know. Thanks for being a great audience.